Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. So, this afternoon, we're going to present our project, Installation of Street Lights along Tiger Street in Port Kukla. So, I have with me here today are my group mates, yes sir, Karan, Lola, and Romanji. So, let us start. So, the first one that we're going to discuss is our project management approach. So our way of doing this is more than just getting the project done. It's making sure that we do it efficiently with high standard and keeping everyone involved happy. Leading our project is our project manager who holds a very important responsibility in managing the project from the beginning to the end. It includes coordinating different parts of planning, giving out tasks, making sure each step of the project matches their goal, the project manager also is the key link between the project team and the stakeholders, make sure, making sure everyone is working together and moving towards a common objective. Our team is made up of specialized groups, each with its own special skills. So we have experts from infrastructure who will focus on the physical execution and street light installation. We have quality control, assurance team who will ensure that our work meets the highest standard. We have technical operations who is responsible for the technological aspects of the project and testing team who will evaluate our system for safety and functionality. But of course, um, a good project management isn't just about leading a team. It's also making smart choices. For this reason, all significant projects uh, project plans and changes in direction are reviewed and approved by the, our, our project sponsor. This step makes sure that we, we stay on track within the budget, within our goals, keeping everything clear and uh, responsible. So in managing the project, we used a matrix organizational structure, this step helps us work together better, share information easily, and make quick decisions. And let's not forget the importance of uh, scope management. Um, it, it's uh, keeping a close eye on your project scope, ensures that we're always on track, reviews all the projects, uh, reviewing the project scope regularly allows us to make timely adjustments with our activities. Right, now let's move on to our project scope management plan as we have already discussed in our project charter. These are the inclusions for this project. We will install 40 uh, street, street lights, LED street lights along Pioneer Street. So these are the inclusions. And for the exclusion, these are the exclusions that is not part of this project. Right? So the exclusion, we made sure that it is well written so that we have clear boundaries and we will not address all these as part of this project. So in summary, our scope management plan is designed to provide a clear roadmap and set expect expectation for what will be delivered at the conclusion of this project. Thank you. and now today I'm going to describe about stakeholder management plan. So stakeholder analysis is a systematic way of identifying, assessing, prioritizing the people that can affect or affected by uh, many projects actions. So the purpose of stakeholder analysis is that to know their expectations, their uh, the power, influence, priority, their interest. So uh, the next project sponsor, the role of project sponsor is that it provides uh, the resources as well as uh, the budget. Also the approvals authority, the role of approval authority is to grant or to, to deny the approvals the contractor to implement uh, the good implementation of the project as well as the architect the role of architect is to design uh, and the aesthetic as aspect of street lights uh, the structural engineer the role of structural engineer is to 
safe and stabilization um, of installation of street lights. Um, the supplier pro provides the material or resources. And next, electrical inspector takes care or ensures that everything, the electrical component of the street lights. And next is supplier contractor, as I uh, dis uh, discussed that about later. Uh, next is external internal. Here it is written external internal category. So internal category me, uh, means the municipal uh, or city department, municipal government. And the external category here uh, is like non-profit organization or uh, private any private company. So these are the stakeholder management plan. And now I will move further to work breakdown structure. So work breakdown structure is crucial as it provides a systematic and organized approach to managing the project. Uh, the structure includes 10 deliverables, starting from project initiation and which ends at project management. So this structure um, involved in uh, installing street lights is really very important as it contains various tasks, tasks and uh, resources. Uh, each element here corresponds uh, to a specific aspect of the project, uh, making it easier to plan and manage as well as to allocate resources. So it serves as a communication uh, tool. So yeah, that's all from my side and now Yasser will take over. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to make it simple actually. This project is going to take 49 days from October 10th to 15th of December. And I'm going to discuss some few milestones. For example, we have the permits obtained that is going to happen in the 20th day of October. We also have going to be in the planning stage and we're going to finish this stage when all the designs are going to be approved. That is going to happen in the 2nd of November. And after procurement, has all the materials placed on the 14th of November, we're going to go to the executing part. So for the installation, we're going to take also 18 days, and it's going to be from the 12th of November until the 8th of December. Remember that in this plan, in this calendar, we're going to just working five days per week and also 40 hours per week. During the whole project, we're going to be monitoring and controlling the quality, we're going to do the testing, and also we're going to have all the documentation and reporting during, during the whole project. At the end, of course, we're going to do the closure, and the closure is going to take just one day, and we're going to finish this project, as I said, on the 15th of December. Now, for explaining the communication management plan, I have the roles and responsibilities, and also the strategy that we are going to use. So the project manager is going to have meetings with the engineers, technicians, and installation personnel every week. After that, we have the project team is going to send emails by weekly, sending to the project manager all the updates and the progress that we are going, that we are going to be making. Also, the project manager with this information is going to update all the information so they can, so he can send emails to all the stakeholders like municipality, local representatives, logistics and material suppliers, so they can know which steps are going through. And at the end, all the customers and contractors can telephone me or can send me instant messages if we have an emergency, of course. Then we have the quality management plan, and we start this plan talking about the materials and quality checks, which are going to be made for the quality specialist, and they are going to send me all of that information to me, so I can give the approval to use the, the materials. After that, the project team and the stakeholders has all the approvals to use the materials, they are going to use Kanban so we can use half uh, efficient material usage. And they are going to provide information to me so I know how much we have. 
the project team and the stakeholders are going to be doing the quality inspections and quality reporting and they are going to send that information to the project sponsor and to me so we can revise that information and we can say if we go or not go to the next phases. And at the end of each phase, we are going to have a meeting with the whole staff so we can decide if we are ready or not to go to the next steps. That was everything uh, from my side. Now we are going to hear to Laura. Thank you, Laura. Hello everyone, and um, my name is Laura, and I'll be talking about clean uh, management plan. For this uh, for the clean management plan, uh, we put in place a uh, plan to effect changes on this project. We have a um, change request initiated for any change to be initiated. A change order needs to be raised, and um, any stakeholder can um, request or identify a change. Um, a change request form is also used um, for the documentation of the nature of the change um, request. Also, a change request is included only when the sponsor and the project team agreed on a recommendation. So after a change request has been raised, the impact will be evaluated by the project, by the project manager and the project team. Um, during the impact evaluation, um, there are, we have three levels of impact. We have the low, we have the medium, and we have the high impact. For the low impact, um, no material effects on costs and schedule, but quality, uh, quality also is not impaired. For medium, it has moderate impact on um, cost and schedule, but quality is impaired. And for such um, for such um, impact, if it's negative, uh, or if it's a negative impact, the sponsor and um, and the project manager will have to review for approval. Also, we have the eye impact. For eye impact, significant impact is on cost and schedule and even quality. So it requires an executive committee to review and approve. And upon evaluation, uh, we were, the change would be authorized. So upon evaluation, it will be accepted or rejected. And um, uh, if it is accepted, a change will be authorized. If it is not, then um, it, it, it goes down. So um, after authorization of the change, the change will be implemented upon approval. And after which, um, updates, um, status will be updated on um, documents or necessary documents. Also, after the statement, after the um, status has been updated, we are going to monitor impact all through the um, life cycle of the project. And next is our procurement plan. For procurement plan, we have a framework that has that's like our mandate in the organization that we use that has been a, that has been um, our guide for procurement. And the framework is to attain the best value for, for all purchases, to attain the best value for all purchases, to define roles and responsibility clearly to project team, also to reduce risk and liability associated with procurement. Here is um, the uh, items and the products we have uh, procured for the installation of this um, of this project. So you can see the street light and material delivery and the total cost, including uh, a contingency fund of 10 percent. Now I would allow Karen to take over. Hi, my name is Karen, and today I will discuss the risk management plan. Okay, risk management plan, first we will identify the risk in, first we will identify the risk, and then we just analyze the risk uh, uh, with the impact of each identified risk using a predefined scale 
high, medium, and low. Then we prioritize. Uh, then we have risk prioritization in which we prioritize the risk based on their potential impact. And in the fourth, we have risk mitigation strategies uh, in which we develop the mitigation plan for high priority risks to manage them early. And in the fifth, we have risk monitoring and control. In, in this, we can we regularly review the risk register to and update it, and we will also make sure to adjust stress, uh, strategies as necessary. Then we have risk communication, in which we communicate with stakeholders regularly and make the management transparent to reduce the risk. And here's our course management plan, which includes the like items. Street lights, materials, labor, utilities, design and engineering, testing and inspecting, and the mis miscellaneous cost as well. And the subtotal uh, subtotal cost of this project is 400, uh, 409 and 091 dollars. And we have we also have contingency 10 percent funds, like which is 40,909 dollars. And we also have a 15% profit, like six, uh, which is $67,500. And the total project, project cost is about $517,500. Thank you. This is from my side, and this is our project. Thank you.